Hello people. How are we doing? Hope everyone's good. Today I want to talk about whether or not you should cut off friends, old friends, I'm talking like friends you had before you started self-improvement, and even in extreme cases, family members who you believe are impeding or holding back your progress. I only really want to talk about like people you've known for a long time before you ever got started because those are really the most difficult relationships to reconsider at any point in your life. Someone that you've been friends with or you've been related to for your whole life or you've been friends with for years. Like we're talking like, I'm thinking like friends you've been like went to primary school with, those kind of friends that you've still managed to keep in touch with. And now I've seen a lot of guys in the self-improvement community who are kind of loners. I don't want to say that in a, in a harsh or mean sort of way. But there are, I know people in self-improvement who have openly said they had no friends before they started the whole journey. They basically were living on their own in a flat and they probably just spoke to their parents or their, or their siblings. So yeah, maybe this doesn't necessarily apply to, to a certain profile of person. But for those of us who had a lot of like normie, I, this is a, I don't like the word normie, but those of us who had friends who knew us before we started getting into the self-improvement journey and before, and obviously your, your parents, your grandparents, those sort of people, uncles, cousins, you know, you know what a family is. Do you cut them off if they are obvious impediments? I don't think I have the best answer for this, but I will tell you what I do. What I follow is a process of compartmentalization. Try saying that when you're drunk, which is where I have these people in my life who are safely sectioned away from my my goals and priorities and self-improvement endeavors. I've been very fortunate in that my parents would never get in the way of me doing anything I wanted to do. They're incredibly supportive, no matter what it is I want to do. They'll obviously tell me if they think something's a bad idea, but they will never get in my way. And they've been incredibly supportive of my traveling journey. They're incredibly supportive of me moving away during COVID and going and getting my own place and working on my goals for a while. They've just, they've just been the best parents I could have asked for. So I've never had to have this issue with breaking things off from like your mother or your father. I do sympathize with those who've had to make that decision, uh, even not into self-improvement context, just in a general context, if you've had to cut off a, a family member that close, I can understand. But with old friends, I have had to make this decision. Like, how do I deal with the fact that they are often an impediment to my goals because they want to go out, they just want to, a lot of them want to drift through life and even if they don't know that, they just kind of want to drift through life without really achieving too much. Like I've had a, one of my best mates openly say to me, like, I don't want to own my own business. I don't really want to do anything spectacular. I just want to get a decent paid salary job, marry my girlfriend, have kids and get through life doing the things I enjoy. It's like more power to him. But we are just not going to align with the areas of like achievement that I want to have and my ambitions and what he wants to do with his life. But what I have been able to do is compartmentalize the areas that I enjoy and can share with him and pretty much the rest of my life, which he will no longer have any part on in the general scheme of things. And you do get clashes, so you know what I mean? Like we're still, we still are in constant, com like constant conversation in some message groups and he'll say stuff like, oh, when are you going to settle down? When are you going to find a job that will be reliable for the next 10 years? That kind of stuff. And I just kind of have to like laugh it off and ignore it. But I'm never going to cut the, this person off. I'm never going to cut off my other friends who I feel are a little bit, if I was around them all the time, I feel like they were anchoring me down, but I'm not around them all the time. That's what I've done. I've compartmentalized. I moved away. I moved to a city like four hours drive away where I don't have to hang around them all the time. I've, and I, but I still keep in touch and I would still happily go and visit and hang out with them and enjoy them as a separate part of my life. That's what compartmentalization is. And if, if it came to the point that my parents started being unnecessarily impeding, I would lower my interaction with them. And I would just, they would be my parents, they're always gonna be my parents as long as they're alive, but they would, I would just lessen the interactions and lessen their ability to impede me. I don't, I'm just not someone that screens and cuts people out, you know, it's just not my, it's not really my, the way I do things. Um, but there are guys who would recommend cutting people out entirely and like, if you have like, I guess the drive to cut off long standing friends and family members, then it's your decision. You gotta live by the choices that you make and do the things that you think are right. So it's entirely down to you, but I thought I'd give you my view on it and what I do with this situation.
All right, guys. Peace out till next time.